ESPN Wrestling. This is Denver, Colorado, the men, not the place. We've got a bit of an unusual match here in Beyond Wrestling. We've got two wrestlers that I believe trained with Jakar or trained with CZW or trained with both when the schools were aligned but are not affiliated with either. But a wrestling here at CZW? I, I don't know. It's a little bit complicated. Based on the getups that both these guys are wearing, I don't want to sell them short in the wrestling department, but I would anticipate a lot of, a lot of hijinks in a matchup like this. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they'll surprise me. And then we see Saguaro, El Saguaro, the fighting cactus man, trying to take it to Lance Steele. Of course, uh, Lance Steele, I believe, is a time-traveling knight. But every time he tries to apply that uh, side headlock, getting caught with the, uh, the prickly... Pines, they're not called pines. I can't think of what they call it when, they, when it's on a cactus. And you get stabbed by it. They should revoke my commentary. Card. I can't hit you. You can't grab me, so you're gonna have to hit me somewhere else. Well, Saguaro, Saguaro's chops are ineffective with the, uh, the armor that Lance Steele is wearing on his chest, but his punches are effective. Now Saguaro looking to send Lance Steele for the ride. Lance Steele, oh! Came charging, but look at the strength out of Saguaro. Saguaro's picking his nose. He's trying to put a booger on his opponent's face. That's gross. Great agility out of both these competitors. These are two big dudes, too. But Saguaro, one of the strongest members of the Beyond Wrestling roster, hasn't had an opportunity to show off that strength so far in this match. This Lance Steele, perhaps he went to the future to see the results of this match and then changed up his strategy. Does that happen? <laughs> Steele's coming up to the ring. Oh, just gets sent off the apron right into the steel cage that comprises the cage of death that's set up around the ring here at the Combat Zone Wrestling Academy. So Guaro looking to fly. I mean, you've got the what no chance out of the other wrestlers and perhaps a... Discretion is the better part of valor. That's not what they say. Well, here we see the strength on display. Picking him up. Oh, just driving him like a spinebuster style. Into the steel. It's Aguaro trying to put a booger on the cameraman. Hey, that's me. Now he's got a trash barrel. Oh, he missed. He missed, and he got kicked right in the face. Now stand to the steel cage, the cage is almost falling off the wall. I'll tell you what, for two Jakar looking motherfuckers, these guys are certainly pretty comfortable here at the combat zone. Trying to punch him again, but fist to spike. Oh, now just kicking the chair away from him. The Irish whip into the, into the, into the garage door. Oh, now the cage is falling down. All right, all hell is broken loose. What kind of a match is this? Having to switch to an alternate shot because our cameraman has been taken out. Who expected this kind of a match out of these two? It looks like Lance Steele on the floor has got a broom hand. What is going on? Oh, he's choking away at him. The referee can't even put a stop to it. Finally back in a position to capture the action on the floor. Hey guys, don't drop a steel cage in my head. What do you want? Catching him with that broomstick and across the back. Lance Steele perhaps feeling comfortable with a joust in his hands. You know what I mean. Oh, just slamming him on the concrete. Why not? You already slammed him into the garage door. You slammed him into the steel cage. Are there any thumbtacks? Is there any barbed wire laying around the CCW Academy that we haven't exploited yet? Referee Chris Levin better be careful. I think that... That Squirrel's trying to put a booger on him. Mm. Well, the wrestlers here at Beyond Wrestling are certainly a fan of what they've seen so far. Hopefully you are too, but this match is, is far from over. Best as I can tell. And look at the strength again. Picking up his opponent. Going to be close to 250 pounds right off the mat and driving him down with that rib breaker. Probably better suited to fucking... Now he's going to powerbomb him in the corner. 
Some of the other wrestlers don't think, don't think Saguaro can do it. Picked him up with ease. Taking too much time though. Still slipping out the back door. He's got that fireman's carry roll. Following up with the senton. Give the credit to the suit of armor. Instead of going for the pin, he's trying to tie up the large legs of Saguaro. Now he's gonna hook behind the knees. And he's trying to flip him over for that Boston Crab. Can he get Saguaro to submit? I still can't think of what the, the sharp part of the cactus is. They're not called pincers, are they? Can somebody leave a comment and tell me? Are they called spikes? No. Either way, Saguaro looking to connect with them, taking too much time with the diving cactus assisted headbutt. Those thumbtack like uh, barbs on the top of his head. Barely even stirring. Okay, well, who's this guy? Rob Van Dam? Leaping to the top rope with ease. Saguaro ducking out of the way. Missing the contact of the flying cross body, and he's signaling for the end. He's going to put the booger on him. Okay, that guy weighs at least 250 pounds, and he just deadlifted him off the mat over his shoulders. Now he's got him wrapped up, almost like a, a, a with his hands around the chin, spinning him around. I don't know what Saguaro calls that submission hole, but he made quick work of Lance Steele. Trying to pop his head right off his shoulders. And Saguaro's victorious, and he put a booger on the referee.